hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell and this is your energy forecast intuitive message for today, Sunday, December the 11th, 2016. And as always, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I hope you're doing well. We've got a full moon coming up on Tuesday. And if you have not checked out my website, intuitivemitchell.com, the full moon releasing spread is there and available to you to find out what you need to release during this time frame. Also, Mercury Retrograde starts on the 19th, so that's another spread that you can find out how to best handle the wave of energy coming through that three-week period. So check it out if you feel led. Your message today is this. Keep your nose to the grindstone and don't allow any of the critics to interfere with your hard work. So very important message because a lot of times we get to our work and, and we sometimes will say, hey, guess what I'm doing? Or I've been thinking about doing this or, or look at my work. And, and then people go, mm, naysayer, naysayer. They don't like what you're doing. It's not their idea. There's jealousy. There's ego involved. So first of all, make sure you know who you can share things with. Make sure you know who you can trust you know, confidence and it has very little ego involved, you know, that good, equal, caring friendship. But then also when people just stick their nose in your business and say, you know what, here's what I think you need to do. Just politely say, well, thank you for your input. I, I, I appreciate that. Um, and then just, you know, and walk away. You don't have to. And then just let their, let whatever, just let it settle. Maybe it works. But again, don't let it ruffle your feathers. That's a challenge for a lot of people because they're like, <sighs> they start to self-doubt. You know, they start to doubt themselves and what's going on. So just take a deep breath and say, this feels right. And I'm going to continue it. So. Let's look at some cards and numbers of the next couple of days. So today, Sunday, it's a five day. Five, that number carries with it. It's shifting, it's changing, it's moving, it's vol volatile, it's versatile. Um, you know, there's just a lot of transition and change going on with that number. Um, Lenormand kind of gives, the way I've been working lately, it kind of gives me like, well, what's the subject matter of today? So what's going on? So this, again, the woman, the woman keeps popping up. So the woman is you, if you're a woman or a woman in your life. So, and then Tara kind of gives us maybe, you know, guidance, direction, or uh, just a little more flavor as to what to expect for today or how to deal with the energy of today. And that is Ace of Coins. So this would be um, probably a woman or you as a woman starting new business, new baby, birth, conception, um, definitely something new starting up within the realms of coins, which is about money, resources, finances, family, you know, earthly things. Um, so, you know, keep an eye out for that because with the five, it's something shifting, moving, and changing. Maybe today you are cooking up an idea for a new business and you're putting it all in. Or some woman has come to you because she trusts your input and says, hey, you know, if you're a man, and says, hey, can you give me some input on this new business idea that I have? And that, you know, if you trust them and work with it. So tomorrow, all the numbers add up to six. Six is balance, nurturing. It's family focus. It's, it's that marriage and divorce. It's that domestic and work. Um, it's a very responsible number, responsibility and duty. Lenormand, kind of like the what? Ah, this is 30, which is about longevity, purity, um, the lilies, um, that's some other keyword, maturity, wisdom, you know, retirement, uh, peace, peace lilies. And then Tara, to go along with it, kind of give us a little more insight, ten of coins. And there's more, there's tulips, so lots of flowers today. Tulips there, ten of coins. This is about money, um, big box of money. Could be family gathering or things like that. You know, could be someone retiring finally, someone, you know, bringing something to an end. But it, it's definitely a long-lasting money, family you know, event and gathering. Lots of earth energy going on right now. I know um, we're in the middle of Sagittarius, but we're going into Capricorn. So maybe that's what's going on here. We're shifting a little bit. A couple more days though. But I like that we went from the woman ace of coins into the lily ten of coins. It's kind of following a little bit of theme here. And then Tuesday, all the numbers add up to seven. Seven carries with it this very metaphysical, mystical, it's research, solitude, you know, um, and, and analysis, um, you know, technology kind of a feel with it. It's a very mysterious number. It just really is. We talked about this in the Tarot Tribe yesterday. And kind of the what of to that day is 34, which is seven, which goes along with that fish. This is often about going with the flow. This is often about money, you know, resources, commerce, trade, independence. And then terror to go along with that is the fool. Once again, more money starting the flow, beginning. The fool is about starts and beginning. So it's very interesting because these three days here, you know, a lot of money, resources, finances, you know, it's like it's like abundant, it's plentiful, and they're starting, they're beginning. Again, tomorrow that um, or Tuesday, the, the full moon, 
which is a time of releasing, which often brings about starts and beginnings as well. But then also, this would be a time, if you're one of those who doesn't like to start or do new things during retrograde, this would be a time to get it going. Because come the 19th, the Mercury retrograde fully ramps up and it moves into that for that three-week period. Um, and many people believe it's, it's a time where it's not best to like start or begin or do anything new because a lot of times communications and, and contracts and information gets upset and shifted around. Um, but you can ride the wave rather than let it pummel you. So there's definitely energy and it can be used in a positive or, you know, uh, not so positive way, <laughs> negative way. So there's your message. Check out my website, intuitivemitchell.com. Like I said, full moon releasing spread is there available to you. Um, the fool's spread, full spread is one card per month for next year, is there as well, as, and that's on special. And then Mercury retrograde. So there's like three things happening right now that you can partake in if you feel led to. Or just go look up the spread and do the spread yourself. You know, if you feel comfortable doing it yourself, absolutely. It'd be a great experience. Or you do it for yourself, then you buy it from me, and then you compare. That's a lot of fun as well, because that's where you can grow and learn as a tarot card reader. So, namaste. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.